Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at a beautiful add-on known as Simply Rap Pro. Simply Rap Pro is made available by JSlav and he's the very same creator of the Simply Concept, the Simply Micro Mesh and of course the Simply Cloth. Now this add-on has been co-developed by Alberto FX and of course if you'd like to see some of the cool things that Alberto has, I'm going to put links to his page and also link to this in the description where you can check this out and see all of the beautiful things that you can get from them. Now the idea for Simply Rap Pro is for you to be able to wrap meshes and actually use Cov as the parent tool of getting these things done. Now you can use this to create things like bandages, ropes and also a couple of bands across different objects. Now to see this in action, we need to jump directly into Blender and start working with it. So with Blender simply open right here, all you need to do to get things going is to go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. Now with this add-on installed, if you tap N on the keyboard, you'd notice that we have the Simply add-ons and of course we have the Simply Club and the Simply Wrap Pro right here. Now for you to use this, you need to get a mesh. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a cylinder, click this, make sure we have enough vertices around, make sure we have enough depth and uh, yeah, the radius looks good so we can just let that be. Now with this ready, you can select the object itself and let's also go ahead and just you know, shut that down and I'm just going to also increase this. And with this object selected, you can now click on object for wrapping. Now, once you click on object for wrapping, you can also click on start wrapping and start wrapping this. It is worth knowing that for you to get a successful wrap, you need to click from one side, click and drag and let go, then click and drag and let go as well and do this as much as you want. Initially, I didn't get this and uh, it was a big problem. So. This is basically how you get to work with it. Now, this wrapping doesn't only happen in a two-dimensional space, as if you proceed to rotate across your viewport, you would see that there is a kind of wrapping going around the object. So once I have this ready, the next thing which we need to do is to play with the resolution. So in this case, if you hold down control and you roll your middle mouse, you can play with resolution however you want. So we are getting good resolutions. And once you're ready, you can press the enter button and slide your mouse from left to right. So once we start sliding this, you can see we're deciding the size. So if we like bigger size, smaller size, bigger size, smaller size. Yep, we just want the size like this. Click to let go. And then the next thing which you need to decide is the offset. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get something as good as this. Click to let go and it would ask us for some twist. If you like to have some twist, yes, you can. But in this case, we don't want any twist. So I'm just gonna click and let this happen. So once you click and let go, you would notice automatically there's a playback and this starts wrapping across the mesh. And this is just very interesting. The fact that you already have this thing going automatically without doing so much, except you're just clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging, and clicking a couple of times is just exceptional. So you can use this to start creating that amazing wrap across a different kind of model for fences, for your weapons, for your character. You can just start playing with this. It also makes sense to note that there is a couple of physics properties that you can play with. So just in case you like to make some changes right here within the physics, Yes, you can. And once you're okay with the results that you have, you can click on apply wrap and you have your wrap right here. So this is basically how simple and easy it is for you to start wrapping stuff. Now, for those who would like to increase the width, of course you can. You can increase the width of what you have. If you like to shorten the ends, like right now we have an end here. And of course we have another end somewhere like here. If you like to shorten this, yes, of course you can. So we can go ahead and shorten this. And of course, for those who might probably want to edit this object, of course you can. In this case, maybe we would like to bridge these two parts. Let's also just simply slide this a bit, something like that. So if you like to bridge these two parts, you can totally do that. If you also like to treat all of these intersections that's going on, you can also fix all of that. So to do that, you need to go over to the edit mode. And within the edit mode, if you turn on the show intersection, you can see where we're having some intersections. So we just have only one, which is not bad. And uh, we can fix that. So in this case, I can just go over one, two, click the move tool and move this all the way up. And you can also notice we have another one. So I can just click and move this all the way up. If we like to merge or simply use the bridge tool, we can. So in this case, we can also go all the way to this part, select the first one, select the second one, and we can also do the same thing here. So I can go ahead and select this and that, and we can use the bridge loop. And once we have this going, 
we can also proceed to start making some cool edits from here. And once you're ready, you can jump all the way back to the object mode. Now for those thinking about subdividing this, of course you can always add as much subdivision as you want and get even cleaner result. But this is not all about it. There's even more stuff. Now it's also worth knowing that the Simply Wrap add-on has a couple of assets that you can use. So if you already downloaded those assets, you need to go over to preference, go over to the file path and add those assets within the asset library. So you need to add that. And once you do, you can drag out a new viewport, click and change your 3D viewports to your asset browser, click all the way down, select the simply wrap add-on assets, and you can start throwing in some good old textures. So I'm just gonna switch these to rendering. Let's get that. And in this case, if I would like to throw in some bandages, of course we can, and you can see some beautiful bandages are right there. If we would like to use any other kind of material that we have, in this case, we're looking at a fabric material. So we can also throw that in. And that is also going to play a good role. We can also throw in this one. And depending on the kind of material that you have right here that you like to use, this also serves as a tiny material pack that you can play with. You might also be wondering, what about these other stuff? What are these? These are also wrappables. Wrappables in the sense that they are objects that you can use to wrap across several objects. So for us to use this, first off, I need to select this object and hide it so that we can focus on the curve. And you would notice that we have a curve here that is hidden, but then, if you would like to work with this curve, you can just simply click on curve. Now, once we click on the curve, I can proceed to drag out any of this asset and drop it. So since we're looking at this one, I will also need to make sure that we have all the locations set to zero. And then with this curve here, I can click on this button that says add selected object to wrap. And once we do that, look at what we have. If you like to increase the size, of course you can. Go over to the size section, click, drag all the way down, and I can make this a size of three and we have it. And this is just super, super nice. Now, if there's any part where you get to notice that maybe some things are missing, like in sections like this, you can simply select the object itself and go into your edit mode and start making some tweaks. So in this case, you might also notice that we have a couple of issues right here. I can just simply jump over, go over to the edit mode, select these ones, right click and simply dissolve them. And once we dissolve them, you see those ones get fixed. And we can do that across the entire model and fix the curve. Now, regardless of all of that, there is also something that is quite beautiful that you can do with the curve. So with this curve selected, you would also notice that down here, we have a couple of curve settings. And one of the cool ones is the extrude. So in this case, I can also add a little bit of extrusion right there. And this is just brilliant. So for those who like to try this out, probably you want to get an asset or you would like to get the Simply Wrap add-on. Links to this is going to be in the description where you can read up on all of this. And at the same time, check out all of the assets that you can get with this. There's a full documentation that covers a whole lot of things. And for those thinking about getting some more add-ons, you might want to consider Alberto FX and at the same time, consider JSLAV stuff front. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, Peace.